Okay guys, here we are at spot number four. Just getting ready to get set up. We're thinking of casting out towards there. The, the brothers in the fishing shop always say aim towards the cliff, get as close as you can. So yeah, we'll have a look and see what we can stir up in there. Yeah, I mean the conditions aren't to be great now. Uh, we have a lot of wind coming from the east, so conditions are going to be tricky. But sure, look, we give it a shot anyway. We'll see where it takes us. Hopefully, we have the same success we did in the last couple of swims. So as you can see, we're a little bit more exposed here. We're going to get a lot of sunlight. The sun's going to be rising over that direction, setting over there. So pretty much in it all day. Luckily, we've got some cover that we can put up, keep ourselves from getting burnt to a crisp. Not a bad fish. It's been a very quiet two days. Gary caught one the first day. We just we don't really count as a day of fishing because we were just trying to figure out what we were doing. The largest stretch we've done so far. So we think we know <laughs> we think we're on the fish now. Let's hope it keeps up. Get it back. Day 53, a beautiful day, 33 degrees today. As you can see though, not a cloud in the sky, so not a day for fishing. Uh, but uh, it's early. Uh, first fish, what time is it? About 12 o'clock? Something like that. Yeah, happy days. Seventeen ten. Really? Good. All right, guys. So finally, onto my first fish of the day. Just happened to be walking down towards the bank just to have a look at everything still okay and this one started screaming out so it doesn't feel massive it's not streaming line out so quite interesting to see what I've got on the end Uh, 26, 12, 26 so 12, so he's 22 12. 22 12. It's not a bad fish. Great start to the day. <laughs> Bullock's giving him a little <laughs> lick there. Come on, Bullock. He's got some friends in the swim and it'll get a bit more uh, exciting for the day.
Well, that's not good. Enjoy. Oh boy. So, got a feeling things are going to get pretty hectic around here soon. That's a big ass storm cloud. Let's see if we can see one more strike of lightning. Come on. Flash. Oh, got it. Not bad at all. Beauty. 23 trees. Yeah. Okay, so this was spot five. As you can see, it's paradise. It's a little inlet off of the River Ebro. You can't even see the main river. That's not it up there, it's around the corner. We've been here for just over a week. We haven't been catching much footage here because the fish in this area don't actually eat maize and they don't eat the uh, halibut pellets that we do have for bait. So we've pretty much been trying to figure out what to catch them on and maybe get them used to eating a bit of maize. So Gary's been working hard at that. I haven't been fishing. Uh, I think I've got prickly heat or something. So I've been suffering, I've been staying out of the heat. All right, guys. So finally got it down on this spot. Gary just pulled in this lovely catfish here. Don't know what he weighs yet, but we'll find out now shortly. Beautiful pattern on it though. Oh, 
33, just under 33, yeah. 32, 32, 10 to 33. Yeah, beauty. <laughs> Great fish. <laughs> Brilliant, huh? right? Get this guy back in the water. If you look over there, you can see a big plume of smoke. If you look over there, big plume of smoke. And about an hour ago, someone from the Garda Rural came along uh, before we had noticed the smoke and told us there was no camping here. Um, well, no camping in general. So we were basically told pack up and leave in, in a nice way. He, he wasn't rude, he didn't speak English, but he basically gave us the idea we got to pack up and leave. There had been a few helicopters passing overhead so I believe that one of the helicopters obviously radioed them, said there's fire either side, just get them boys out there, tell them no camping. That's fair enough. So we've no idea where we're going, apart from Gary says, spot number six. So wish us luck and hope to get the rest of this packed up out of here and not see any more of that smoke on the drive out. Uh, we are actually getting a little bit of ash falling on us from there. So that tells me the wind is blowing this direction. So it's probably best we do get out of town. It's a shame, I was gonna start filming here in the morning, hopefully get some nice fish. It's clear water, I was hoping to get some underwater footage of the fish getting pulled in. But hey, safety comes first, can't hang around for this. So time to go.